Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank. Today I'm playing some more Inscription, and I last left off I had went into the new game and um, got to this map area after choosing Leshy's power. I'm just walking around now and exploring the map for the first time, so I want to look and see what I can find. So let's see. No. No fish, no pass. So I'm wondering if there's like a little meta game here. Let's see what this guy says. Dag Nabbit. A dang hound got herself lost again. If you think you're getting past, think again. Not till it gets some proof my girl's alright. This guy wants the hound. You pry the chest open and found a card pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. Okay, cool. Matter damages another creature, that creature perishes. When an empty space will be struck, Mole Man will move. Is that space? That's Mole Man. And Hawk struck an opponent, opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. And Draugr can't be sacrificed. When Draugr perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. And. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. And let's see. I wonder if I can click on this bowl or something. What happens if we go inside? This is starting to look like a RPG overall. Stop shaking. The only thing you had to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of beast. We share a desire for you to challenge me first. Okay, back to it. Just had a weather alarm get off. Okay, now Le Leshy is saying, uh, no, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create beast cards. This one's a mirror replica. You may use it to create photos of the beast in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper, may each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Looks like a modified version of one of those puzzles I've seen before. Okay, very close. Let's see if this gets it. There we go. Drawer creaked open and he found a pack inside. See the beastly card pack. Okay, Bloodhound, we got Yuri Yuli, a cat, a thick droid, and a droger. Alright, Orange Mage, Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Hawk, thick droid, and another hawk. Okay. What else is there in here? Yeah, it almost looked like a dog or something down there. I don't know what that was. I think it was like 273. I wonder if it's the same one. Yep. Take a sinking pile of meat from the safe. There's faint odor where the meat once was. You wish to trade? You don't perchance have any belt. No, that is disappointing, but I'll accept foils. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. 
guess I don't want to do this right now, just to be safe. Don't want to spend anything. And I wonder if that meat is something I can put in this bowl out here. Yep. Hey, there we go. There's a picture of the doggy. I'll be darned, that's my girl. I'll let you pass me into yonder pond, but dang damn it, first we got a battle. Darn it, all your deck ain't right. Get, get at least 20 cards in it. Okay. I think we have at least 20 cards. I wonder if not having squirrels is going to be a problem. Mage Knight. If Mage Knight's owner controls no mox cards, Mage Knight perishes. Orange Mage. Uh, let's see. Blue Mage. Sapphire Mox. Can't be sacrificed. That's what we need to decide. Um, let's see. So these take blood. These take bone. These take whatever that is. And these take... I don't know, I guess some sort of magic cost or something? Let's do autocomplete, see what happens. Okay. Why not? Alright, let's try now. Yeehaw, we fixed it, now let's battle. I think it's not saying V, but ye. Ye. Greetings. My consciousness has been summoned, it seems, but for what purpose? Oh, you selected my starter deck and acquired a short lesson. See, magical cards are powered by mocks, though some refer to them as gems. We have one of these mocks on the board. He may play cards that cost. Start by playing one. Okay, uh, let's see. Emerald mocks can't be sacrificed. While emerald mocks is on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. Okay, I guess that's what it's asking for. You see, now you can play magical cards with that gem's color. It's quite simple, really. I cannot comprehend how my students somehow struggle, but I've digressed. Carry on, awake you atop my tower. Okay. Mage people, if mage people's owner controls no box cards, mage people perishes. Hmm. Guess we could play it as well, right? Blue mage play to you draw cards equal to the amount of monks cards on your side of the board. No blue gems. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, let's go. Okay, we can put down another mage pupil, I believe. Squirrels aren't going to hurt that, so I think we're in a good spot. Interesting. Here's fair. You beat me like a dog. Take this. Some, these here cards are better than gold. Some say. <laughs> See the beastly card pack. Hawk. A. Rock. Rock hall? I don't know. Waterborn. Also, when. Maybe that's a K. A rock hall that's played. It provides an energy cell to its owner. Hawk. And. A leap bot will block an imposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. And null conduit may complete a circuit but provides no effect. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. I wonder if the pond is where we get fish. Looks like it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nice. Okay. Oh, I see the 273 in front of the dog thing. Fish, fresh fish, good. Still, must be. Okay. A salmon, waterborne, 
Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Salmon will move into the direction inscribed by the sigil. Alright, Ruby Mox and Sapphire Mox. Mage Pupil under control. Okay. The Mage play, draw all cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side. Okay, I guess we need to go with this. And we'll do this as well. Oh, I totally mistaken. I should have moved this guy over there. Oh well, can't do that. And let's see. I don't think it, this will work. So let's just ring the bell. I should have. I totally missed that one up. Okay. How about we put this in a safer spot and we'll put our junior sage here, this guy here, and maybe that'll work. I can't tell who the mage pupil's owner is. Okay, let's see. Salmon emerges from the deep. Okay. I think we're going to take this guy out by the next turn. It seems to only be five health anyway, so. Okay. You beat, you pass. First take. A mole man, grizzly, leap bot, pharaoh's pets. Pharaoh's Pets is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Also, when Pharaoh's Pets is sacrificed, it does not perish. We got a lot of cool cards. Um, let's see about rearranging my deck. Cool. Let's see what he says. Me, work continue. Find fish for Leshy. I wonder if I had to catch this dog. Patches of dried blood crackle as you pry the chest open, but two packs are inside. Mage Knight, Leap Bot, Mole Man, Raven. Let's see, Grizzly, Yuri Yuli, Salmon, Stem Mage. Activate pay three energy to increase in power and stealth a Stem Mage by one. Okay. Let's see, I wonder if the dog will jump the other way when I get way over here. Oh, there's a Spelt. I wonder if that's so we can trade with the uh, other guy. One inside of Leshy's place. I assume I can fight Leshy now too, but let's go over here first. You brought me a pelt, I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinny knife. This time to set another trap. I smell the hair's blood on you. That twisting head looks creepy. Ah, so we had to have a fight first. Burrowing trap. When an empty space would be struck, burrowing trap will move to that space to receive the struck instead. Also, when burrowing trap perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. Pelt is created in your hand. Alright. The crockle? I'm not sure. Maybe it's rock owl. <laughs> When it's played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. It requires blood. Blood. Droger needs bone. I wonder what's up with this. No conduit may complete a circuit, but provides no effect. 
I wonder if this is the robotic saying you have to like chain things together or something. You just don't have enough pieces to do something useful. I think I just gotta hit continue. Okay. Mage people's owner controls no mox cards. Mage people perishes. And I think that's kind of the case again. I could put it down and sacrifice for this guy though. Oh, or maybe not. I thought it would at least give me the turn so I could sacrifice for it. Does that give me a bone? It does give me a bone at least. Let's uh, put them here. Okay. And I guess that's it for me. Trouble releases a creature inside. After attacking, skeleton perishes. So he just gets one attack. <laughs> okay. Okay then. Um. And. Not having very good luck. I kind of feel like putting Mole Man down might buy me some time though. Hmm. Let's do it. Mole Man digs down and pops out to block. Alright. We got the cat and nothing here. Let's see, it looks like it's charged values going up, whatever it is. Hmm. Oh man, digs down and pops out to block. Okay, I'm gonna have to try tipping the scales, I think. Oh, I wonder what this is, if it just kills something off. What is this for? I don't understand. Well. Okay. Um, I do have bone, but that's not enough to do anything. Well, I think I'm just going to have to lose. This guy's going to perish immediately. That's that. Come closer, you'll make a fine pelt. Set trap, but only the prey decides when it snaps shut. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe I'll have a better draw. Or perhaps not. I may just need to build my deck myself. Thick droid. play that doesn't give me much of anything okay let's see about building the deck your better is prey what a jerk okay so maybe buying a squirrel from earlier would have been a good idea There's not a lot I can do to sacrifice. Everything has a cost, right? Um, the robots seem interesting, but don't really have a good way of powering them. Maybe focusing on magic is the way to go. I have a fair number of these 
guys. Pay three energy to increase the power and health of Stem Mage by one. Hmm. Let's just see what it looks like to fill up a team with these guys. And they all have at least some attack power. And Blue Mage. Near side of the board. And what about this one? This one has some attack power. And we have some ruby moxes that we can put out. Feeling like magic is going to be the way we have to play as the start. It just really looks like it. And the sapphire mox, we only have the one there. Hmm. Maybe focusing on these guys be our best bet. And we'll leave out the blue set or the sapphires. Um the sick joy takes five power. What about these these take bones. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form after one turn. I guess it makes a mummy or something. I wonder if you can only get bones from animals. Either way, this looks tricky. Let's just do this. And we actually had 24 cards allocated. Okay. So we'll take out the blue mage and the sapphire monks. And we gotta have it something, so perhaps this guy since it only costs one bone. Hmm. Okay. Did it save? Yes, okay. Let's try again. And we'll put this guy over here. Okay. Okay. And we'll put this guy down on the next turn. There we go. Okay. And a junior sage. Do not have the green gem. Okay, yeah. That's right. Okay. Um let's see. So far, so good. Can we put this over it? No. Okay, so we're just going to the next room. Uh, next run. Okay, and this is where I can start putting gems down. Okay. And go, go, go. I wish, let's see, can I hammer away this card? That's what it's for. It's for getting rid of cards. Okay. All right. Pay three energy to increase the power and health of Stem Mage. You just played a card with an activated ability. Alas, I shall explain to you its workings. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. It will only work if you can pay the cost. Stem Mage grows stronger. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, that's a win now. Looks like this match has to go to 10, though. 
or at least eight. Oh yeah, I'm getting that power. Super buff. Alright, and... Let's see, everything's being driven by this one emerald though, so let's see what happens. Alright, there's some excess damage for you. And we get foils for that, cool. Trap is shut, yet the prey escapes, and a trapper waits for the next victim. You defeat the three of us now, unless she awaits. Alright, I need some squirrels. Where are my squirrels at, yo? You wish to trade? Alright, now I see the point of having squirrels. So we have five. Let's see, a pack containing one rare and two common beastly cards and two common types of any. So can I not. Let's see. Oh, we're trading foils up here. So I can do. I see now. That's the interface. It's a little bit weird. I thought that this was what I had to pay with, but it's not. It's actually just something I could buy. Um, I feel like I really need squirrels to be able to make use of my beast. Hmm. This is like a whole new card game at this point. Squirrel ball. At the end of the owner's turn, squirrel ball will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a squirrel in their old space. Hmm. Well, that definitely sounds like a way to generate squirrels. So let's get squirrel and squirrel ball. And we'll head out of here. And let's redo our deck a little. Have a squirrel. And where's our squirrel ball? And a squirrel ball. And how about a let's see provides an energy cell to its owner um sounds decent maybe we could get an adder in here too or something maybe a raven okay and that may be enough, and I think the rest of us would need to have some magic going on, so. Okay, and how about Mage Knight? We'll take out a couple of these Mage Pupils. Okay, that'll be good. Okay. Let's see if we can beat Leshy. Well, this is a great twist. I enjoyed fighting Leshy alone earlier, but this uh, more like an RPG is really cool. best of the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, and the en enigmatic trapper found herself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Seal yourself, or my beast will show you no mercy, only fangs. Do not spare your creatures, my camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise, and my beasts are famished. Okay. Okie dokie, we should be able to take out um, the coyote first thing. And let's see. I think this will work. And how about, I mean, it will perish, but at least block out the energy. Um, let's roll with it. I need a photo of that one's cost. Hmm. I wonder if it's going to be generate cards to use against me. I bet it is. What a jerk. OK. 
Okay. Touch of death kills instantly. One moment before that one dies. I need to capture its stats. All right, squirrel to use. Um, fortunately, that is not a good spot to be using it. Hmm. Okay. Finally, the sigils. That will do. That's where your creatures will form a beautiful mosaic. Help on this in new space. Okay, this guy's gotta go here. Help pawn transcends to a higher form. <laughs> Age not requires mox cards to exist and therefore dies. That's a big hit. Alright. I need to put, I guess, this here, that there, and let's see. This is going to attack that direction. It's going to go down there. I think I need to wait about making squirrels come out. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a green out, so. Hmm. Should I do something about this? I don't think so. Help nope, moose in new space. Nope. It's bad luck. I'll move in the direction and scribe the sigil and drop a squirrel in their old space. Yeah, still not an ideal situation. Alright, good. Now I can start getting down to business, I think. It's not ideal, but I can at least get rid of the coyote and that'll free up a spot. Okay, it's not enough though. How utterly disappointing, I was hoping for a greater challenge. It was all over so quickly, oh, if I could extend the struggle. But a kill is as satisfying as a struggle that precedes it. Let's take a look at my deck. Maybe it was naive to think that we were ready for um, animals. So let's go back to magic. An orange mage. Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Let's do with one less emerald. Maybe that'll be enough. Okay. Yes, I'll fight harder this time. <laughs> I crave a tree challenge. All right, show me something worthwhile. Okay. We're gonna put one of these guys here, one there, one there. Let's take them out. It's too bad I can't move this guy over. Cause he's gonna die due to the adder. So bad. Cost. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, another adder coming in to wreak havoc. I think I'll save this guy to put him in the lane of the adder. Stats. And we don't have one of the orange things down, so what do we want to do? Could leave this guy or we could get orange started. Um, Actually, let's put orange down 
and get rid of this one. Okay. Interesting that you use that and let's then hit go. You won't be needing those, I have something better. I must like them though, stitch work is my own. They are your cards. Now we put them to the test. My beasts enjoy a very diet. Amalgam. Uh, let's see. While it's on the board, it provides a green gem. Okay. Do I even need to worry about it? Um, let's see. It's one attack power, two health. I could put this guy down to replace the mage pupil. Hmm. Maybe that would be the wisest decision. I'm not sure. We'll see. just seem like freebies so let's see why we wouldn't do it okay Grizzly coming out. That's less than ideal. Great Scribe was incredibly vested. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. He had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. They were able to defeat me, beggar's belief, but now I'm a seal to you. My only regret is that our battle is so brief. Surely the summon victory is made sweeter by a more arduous descent. Receive the beastly card pack. Oh, great. Let's see. An adder and a Yuli field mice. When a field mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. When broken obol dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. one. I think that's a neat thing. A ruby golem can't be sacrificed when a ruby golem perishes. A ruby mox is created in its place. Cool. Okay. Field mice, uh, the rock hall, <laughs> salmon, and gambler bot. Um, activate. Pay one energy to set the power of gambler bot randomly between one and six. And a broken obol. Okay. These sound like a pretty good set. Uh oh, battery's low. Scribe of Beast is defeated. Stop. What is that? I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. I like, would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. It's a stowed again because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Push it too far that last time. Why don't they see to live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Let's see if there's any last words. Describe a beast is defeated. That's it. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go back up here and see if there's something to collect. Maybe not. Maybe I just have to defeat all four of them. Okay. Now I'm gonna go. Let's see after whichever one this is next. If I can. 
Now it reads, greetings. If you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. In order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, I was free to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Uh, let's see. Looks like I see a way over this way. Collected cards, uh, let's see. Is this just a view of the items or the cards I've had so far? I wonder what this guy will say. You wish to trade? Um, I have no foils, so I guess that's it for that. Okay. Strange monocle, you put it on. Okay, I see something here. Oh, hmm. I don't know. I wonder if we can see something outside. No, I don't see it yet, it's not here. Maybe we have to look at this again. Something on there. Ah, uh, like a skull, the wing, and the skull, maybe. Okay. that blobby thing that was in a jar, I think. Arg, <laughs> the pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. Do you see? My nifkis turned me into our goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger then, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master is one of his prized cards. Arg, nothing will stop me. Ah. I'm really enjoying the themes of these fights. They're really cool. All right, what do we have? Green mages equal the number of green gems the owner has on their side of the table. So we need to get rid of the emerald on that side, I believe. Unfortunately, that's gonna put me in danger. Hmm. Power of it, so that would be one. And that would just kill me if I do that, so. I guess I don't really have much of a choice but to put a mage over there. I'll just do something like this to start. Okay. And we can put this guy down to slow the bleeding a little bit. Alright. Um, fortunately, I'm going to lose this quickly, so I'm just going to go ahead and play both of them. Probably should have done it the other direction. Oh man, this guy is going to just take me out. Okay. Well, I've put that down. These guys are going to disappear on me. So that's not good. Hmm. But getting rid of their power would be so nice. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I can't do it. Okay. Maybe I just needed to survive this long, and it's a sweep. There we go. No, please, please, just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take us back. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see, we got a Ruby Mox, a Orlu's Mox. Um, while it's on the board, it provides an orange gem to its owner. Also, while Orlu's Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem. Well, that's pretty nice. That sounds very powerful, actually. Gem Fiend's owner controls no Mox cards. Gem Fiend perishes. Thick Droid and Thick Droid. Here, I can open the door for you. All right. All right, let's get that powerful Orlu's Mox up here. I think that we could replace, let's see, maybe one of the um, Ruby Moxes? Orange Gem to its owner. Da -da -da. Yeah. There we go. That sounds advantageous. Um, of course, Jim Feeney. Jim Feeney owner controls no mox cards. It perishes. So I wonder if getting one of these guys down on our team would be a good idea at this point. So it does do two hit damage. Maybe that instead of one of the mage pupils would be a good idea. Okay, that'll be a little bit situational, but perhaps it'll work. Okay. Oh, I meant to check the um, treasure chest that was down here earlier. Okay. Inside the chest is covered in a sticky green goo, but you found a card pack. All right, green mage, um, based on the number of green gems. Master Orlu, airborne, also when Master Orlu heals damage, uh, deals damage directly, draw a card for each damage dealt. Hmm. Mage Knight, a ghost ship, waterborne, also at the end of the owner's turn, Ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a skeleton in its old space. Fascinating. Okay. Back upstairs. And let's open up this guy. Find a pack. Among a heap of sharp implements. Jim Fiend. An Orlu's Mox Hover Mage will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. An energy bot. When an energy bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Nice. And then Ghost Ship. Okay. The dummy stares lastly back at you, then suddenly it springs into motion. Practice Mage. Practice Mage. Force Mage. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Huh, okay. Well, I guess let's put it there. And we had to play Blue Gem, of course. Interesting, I see a marking on this. I wonder if we would have seen that before. Do something like this. Let a ruby mox in its place. Moves to new space, pushing anything in its way. Okay. Hmm. Well. Let's just keep going. Dummy seems to creep back into position and it returns to his lifeless stare. I assume that that was it. Um, you know, I did see stuff on the cards. I should have been paying attention. I saw markings. Let's look again. <laughs> Let's do it again. I think that was the point of that, was to uh, show me a, uh, show me a combo. 
Okay, we've got a skull. A push symbol. And what else do we have? I don't know. Let's go look. We'll figure it out anyways. Skull. Let me push symbol. There we go. Ooh, creepy. Just imagine you were in the ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a sphere is, well, it's worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of this deck. Hmm. Well. What do we want to do here? I guess getting rid of that would be a good idea. So. Let's try. It only takes one hit, so maybe we will do that. And we'll leave we'll leave these others. This guy's going to advance. We can at least defend against them a little bit. Okay. So let's get rid of this dude. And we can't play him yet, so we'll do this. Alright, we knew it was going to leave a ruby, and that's okay. Okay, um... That's a bigger problem than I expected. That's going to take two hit points off of us. Okay. Hmm. Alright. We do need to get rid of that, but we still can't. Probably had a bad draw, so I think they're gonna win this one. Okay. Uh, this is unfortunate, but we'll at least get rid of that. Mage Knight requires Mox cards exist and therefore dies. Good. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna bite me. Okay. Magnificus was watching, right? Surely I'm only to wait a bit longer. Back to my mantras. Okay. Wonder if I would extend it having orange in the mix here. Airborne. Also in Masorlu deals card as damage directly, draw a card for each damage dealt. Maybe having that would be better than having Gem Fiend. Okay. Let's try again. Let's imagine here a cloud floating above the volcano. Oh, you want a rematch. Okay. I do like the stem one quite a bit. Let's see. What would be the safest way to do this? Maybe putting this guy here and this guy over here. Um, and I should have been paying attention to his attack power. So that's going to take me out, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, let's just ring the bell. Yep. Let's get rid of this dude. Yep, that's unfortunate. We'll at least boost him up. And can we safely get rid of that? I don't think we could totally so bad too because we're gonna have that guy come down oh man 
What a bummer. I think we're just gonna have to roll with it though. Like, attack who we can. Playing with magic is tricky. I'm gonna lose those cards too. Okay, at least we're getting our Sim Mage fired up. And or lose Mox, so there's no point in playing it right now. Be good to see what happens energy wise. Okay, Sim Mage, time to get on. I could do this. Good. I think we might have this now. Should have buffed up the stem mage on that previous match, or that previous round would have done plus one. Okay. Da da da. Or lose my support, it provides blue gem. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I think everything's okay. That guy's going to die when that one goes away, so. Good. Hmm, perhaps I will not be essential to his strategy. Care not, he can use me as a chunk blocker. I have mastered his appointment. Take this back. That was harder. I liked it. Practice wizard, that's new. Master Bleen. Activate if you have a blue gem. Uh, sacrifice Master Bleen to draw three cards. Force Mage. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Skeleton and a Banshee. Banshee will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. Well, that's cool. Go. All right. Chest is empty, save for a single card. A rabbit. Reach back in for more and notice the sigil where the card used to be. Looks like a little wing. Note reads, the top sigil is found by the greedy. And the note reads, the middle sigil is found by the pill. The note reads, the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too easily. Let's see, I'm guessing. Let's see. Perhaps rabbit? I think it, this one was. I already forgot. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Uh, it was the wing. Okay. Not sure if the rabbit's the bottom one. Okay, let's back out. So the middle sigil is found by the pill. By the pill. By the hard of hearing, or by those who hear too easily. It's, there we go. Maybe that was a nose? At last. Stimulation. It has to have been sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Hear me, Maeficus. I'm ready. We have to battle? Okay. Now, oh, is this a hover mage? So I can put it directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. So I can put it directly. Okay. And Jim Fiend. Chills and Mox cards, Jim Fiend perishes. So targeting that first may be a great idea. Orange Jim. Okay. War of the Blue, of course. Hmm. Perhaps this would be a good way to go. Do 
Okay, so defeating that one is going to take out that. This is going to be no attack, and we can put down this guy to take out the hover mage. Alright, good. Good, I think things are in good position. That's going to be bad to take out that, but this age does not need it to survive, so... Um, unfortunate, but I think we're still okay. Alright, or these mocks. So, getting that on the board will let me play this guy, which would be really nice. Maybe we'll do that. Um, maybe here. Well, let's see. We can get two damage over and over. We do nothing, so that'll at least beat that if that's the only card they have to play, so might as well keep going. Might not be the most exciting thing, but it works, right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was incredibly simulating. We, we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To, to sing, to dance, you wouldn't leave, would you? <laughs> Receive the magical card pack. Alright, Pharaoh's Pets, Energy Bot, the Force Mage, Master Bleen, and Hover Mage. Okay. I've already had at least one of each of those, but cool. Open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay. Note reads, Dear Skrimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. Ah, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter, there are far more concerning issues at hand. You understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you're the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition. I see that your ambition is to take my title. How sad. It would never happen, you see, even if you defeat me. But I am bound by certain rules. First, we must battle. So I'm guessing the stoat is PO3, that it's done in a wolf, is this dude. And um, the stink bug is either Grimora or the other one, perhaps? Behold, the brush of the scribe of magics. Peoples would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. That is not the full extent of its powers. This card is unacceptable. This one needs some bleach. Now for a bit of color. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's happening to this? Uh, Ruby Mox is creating its place. Mox cards on the owner side of the board gain one power. Well, that's not good. Stand each play, draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. So we're getting like randomized things here. Um, well, Stand Mage is just gonna block damage. Magnus Mox can't be sacrificed, it's on board, prize three colors, so. Well, oof. I guess we need to do something like this. Um, getting that on to start whittling it down counts as something, right? And I can at least block some damage. I mean, that's all I'm going to be able to do with it anyways. Okay, Mox cards on the owner's side gain one power. Hmm. It's going to take this guy out and hit then, so maybe I should wait a turn and Orange Mage on the side of the board gain one power. So it's going to have one power and this one um, equal to number of green. So Maybe taking out the orange mage still makes sense. Let's go for it. Oh, 
Rabbits. Okay. Can't play anything anyways. Well, tough break. If I play that, I uh, don't really get anything. Hmm. Well, it says gain a power, so maybe I can place it over here and keep attacking. That is something. Okay. I should have thought about that. I was reading that I was going to be empowering them with that, so. Hmm. Must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush on my own cards once again. Making me make rabbits a lot. Hmm. Find is one. Zero power and one health. Well, this is tough. Could get the orange mage going. But gym fiend's going to be a problem. Huh. If I replace that, that would give me two, though. So... This wouldn't be attacking this, so this is a hard one. <laughs> I guess we'll try it. So, oh, shoot, I played myself. I just got excited thinking something else here. Oh well, probably a loss, but let's just see how it plays. We'll gain some insight and probably need to change up my deck, anyways. The strikers then dealt a single damage point. I uh, can't play anything. Oof. You will never become the scribe of magic, so I'm sorry. We'll see about that. Don't encourage me, I'll do it. Alright, Master Bleen. If you have a blue gem, sacrifice <coughs> Master Bleen, <coughs> excuse me, to draw three cards. Let's see an autocomplete. What do we get? Let's try it. Heck with it. I had no idea what we'll get. I like the music for this one. Those sigils so colorless. A ruby mox, and then this one's a ruby as well. And can't be sacrificed, which I would strike the striker as an adult single damage point. And a rabbit is created. Okay. Don't have bones either. So let's do something like this. And we'll put out a blood on it and put this here, I suppose. And we should have a bone now. So and dealt a single damage point. So I think that'll work. Okay. Um, that's just what we can do right now. Okay. Mox cards on the other side of the board gain one power. Hmm. Yeah, not enough blood. We could play this little guy. Rabbits defined at zero power and one health. Could at least protect for a turn. This guy will create a rabbit when it dies. There might be enough to get our attacker here, so let's do it. Oh, 
Okay. And we will, I guess, stay for a moment. Okay. This one will get a, when it perishes, it will leave a ruby mox in its place. Okay, we kind of need to get rid of this guy. So, can we just play that if we hit this, I believe? And do that. We will put rabbit there and stick with it. Draw cards equal to the number of mox cards on your side of the board. Just want to be zero, of course. Give me another rabbit. Okay. Rabbit strike. This target is then dealt a single damage point. Okay. And this one is the draw cards equal. Okay. And we got nothing. Rabbit spikes dig in. Good. Okay. Once it's struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Okay. We need blood for that. Which I could give it to that guy. But the gem fiend is going to be there. Hmm. Perhaps it's for the best, though. So. sacrifice at the moment for it. There it goes. Alright, Thick Droid. Max, max cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Okay. Um, it'll survive multiple rounds, so that's good. I can sacrifice for it, but Let's just start attacking at Mox, I suppose. I just feel like I'm not going to have the best luck here. When you buy this blade, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. Which would be zero, of course. And they're going to have another orange mage come in. Hmm. Well, we can sacrifice. Let's see. To protect us over here on this side of things. Maybe that's the best thing for now. Now it has plus two, so I really need to get rid of this situation going on. I don't really have enough to get it though. It's looking pretty dire. Okay, a single damage point. That'll get it down some. I could, let's see, sacrifice both of these, attack that, but I think I'll die if I do, so. All right. This mole man could be put down, sacrificing, protecting its Two HP hits versus one. Um, kind of feels like the right thing to do, so let's just see. Okay, this one is a rabbit creator, so that's good. We can leave it to absorb a couple hits from this dude. Okay, side of the board gain of power. Which would be nothing currently. Now I could get this out, sacrifice, 
and take out both of these, then that's going to leave that uncarded, so I think I'm just going to have to keep rolling with it. Alright, Mole Man gets um, a ruby on this one. Still not good. Okay, keep going. Alright, Droger. When it's played, a rabbit's created in your hand. Have tons of bones. No attack power. So, how could I... How could I get out of this mess? So I have two things I can play that could be sacrificed. One of them being the Droger and the Rabbit. I could get down a... Um, I don't think I can win this either way. I could get down the Mole Man or this uh, Field Mice. Unfortunately, I don't think I can win. It's gonna be too much damage. Like, I think this is 10. Now, if I block this, maybe it's 10. And I, it'll just be nine. So maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I do get a rabbit out of this as well. Um, so that would be three sacrifices that could be made, actually. So uh, let's play a smart a rabbit. And then Mox cards and her side gain power. So do this. We'll do this. Okay. And we can sacrifice this and this. And we'll put this guy there and the mole man there just to keep taking hints for a little bit okay i think this is making sense now so we'll do this can't be sacrificed darn it duh um in that case should i just hold i don't think so I've got to block that mole man so that's got to be that way. Okay. Let's just get me Mox cards gain one power. Well, I can just keep blocking down to two cards, so we'll see what happens. Alright, gain one power. It's still not enough, really. Jeez. I mean, I can't sacrifice and take out that one. I really need... I really need to get rid of that guy, though. That's the main problem here. Okay. This is the gamble pot. You draw cards equal to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board. And I have nothing left, so nothing to lose. <laughs> okay, um, so that's going to destroy that, and I don't think we're going to be able to turn this around, fortunately. Here comes starvation. Well, I was wondering if that would carry over to this or not. Let's uh, ring the bell. Well, that was a tough round. It was better though. I'll try another randomized deck and if that doesn't go, I may save completing uh, this one for the next stream, just out of wanting to keep it a little bit closer to an hour and a half today. 
Okay. This is so tough with um, all the sigils being messed up. Okay. These guys are the ones we really need to get rid of quickly. So draw cards equal to the most cards and yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to do anything right now. Okay. Still seemingly not a good idea to do anything, it feels like. I guess if I didn't get anything on the wake, I could lose it quickly. Let's try again. <coughs> All right. I don't think having so many mole men is going to help this fight. In late bots. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. This deck generator is pretty bad. Okay, let's just put that down so it's something. And, um, what else do we have? We could do, I think nothing else. Oh, yeah, this stinks. Let's look at our, let's build a deck one more time. We actually have enough to like have a strong beast deck. Let's do, let's see, two bloods, kind of a lot. Does not perish. Takes the blood and Makes a blood. I don't think it's going to be very useful. It is defensible though, so maybe we do take them. And maybe a mole man, maybe a natter. And perhaps a bloodhound. Let's stick with that. And then getting in something, some of these other cards. I think would be a good idea. We'll go kind of basic, low cost things, maybe the best plan. These do take three hits, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna take that, take a couple of those, and have enough room for five cards. And how about a bunch of junior mages? Okay. All right. Could be total trash, but let's try. One more round. Wish we could skip this gratuitous painting thing that's going on. a hard fight. I wonder if I'll need to circle back to this particular boss later on. Alright, gotta get rid of the orange mage. I know that. We had a decent draw overall. Let's do this number.
change in height. And I just do Magnus Flux. And we can do this. Alright. And I think that that may be okay. Let's see. Draw cards equal to amount. Da -da -da. Draw cards equal to amount. Oh, it's created. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to think of if I could get rid of the cat. Put down. Maybe. It has nine, though, so. Putting anything in front of this is going to be hard to take it out. Let's just see what happens after this round. Ah, I see my mistake. I should have. I still should have done it to get the Magnus to fight. Okay. So I can do this number, I think. That's what I was thinking of earlier, but I should have just executed it. Okay. I was expecting this guy to die, but he doesn't since it doesn't have its normal schedule. It causes it to die on it. And if I could sacrifice two things, I could send the Bloodhound out. But let's just go with this for now. Okay. Um, putting the Adder down to attack it would be fantastic. So, what should we sacrifice? It's a cat and this would make the most sense. Okay. And um, this one gives power, so let's just use it like a power. Okay, like an attacker. Looks like the adder only did one damage. Oh, the sigil. Duh. Man, I'm still playing as if those sigils were there. Darn it. Alright. This is a wacky way to play it, but maybe it'll work. Second phase. Your skill, this much is cleared. Okay. Let's see. Well, be you. Jim Fiend spikes dig in. Of course they do. Very well. Okay, well, we got it. We picked a decent deck, and that's all it took. Very well. We have battled. Now may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers it was excised by none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is, arrogant, simple-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he's far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be something especially aware of. Oh, and then battery went out. Okay. <laughs> battery fully charged okay I guess let's at least watch these new videos and I will go from there I think I've just got to send it to whom it may concern it's a bit formal hello there exclamation point 
My name is Luke Carter and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans printed me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, The Lucky Carter. Okay, good enough. Okay. Okay, next one. Hey card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do, so I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days and I cannot find I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they would get back to me, but as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. I hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Oh, looks like some binary. I may translate that later on and uh, report back on it maybe tomorrow. Okay, let's go to the next video. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding the digital version of any collectible property inscription. I can assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game cleaner hardware, you are compelled to return to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and place the attached shipping label in front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Cleaner Customer Happiness Fund. What the fuck? The plot thickens. Quite literally in error. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Hi! Hi there! Hey. I'm a copy disc for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Okay. Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, uh, Luke Carter, right? Oh. You know the luckycartergmail.com? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Right, because, uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. 
And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Take care. Dang, the plot is getting thick. I saw some more binary go by as well, so. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamere. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. Okay, back into the game. It's kind of jarring just to be back right in it. Another Master Bleen. We have a lot of those now. Bleen's Mox. While Bleen's Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Also, while Bleen's Mox is on the board, it provides a green gem. Okay. Muscle Mage. Then the owner's turn, Muscle Mage will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay. We have those other things, Sarcophagus and Squirrel Paw. Okay. And they're just gone. So, let's see. What's over this way? Hmm. Oh, what are you doing there, buddy? I think I tapped it or something. Let's see, can I touch this or something? Hmm. It's looking a little bit more. I don't want to run away if there's something I need to do here quite yet. But I think this will be where I'll call it for the night if we don't see anything. Maybe we'll step outside first. Hmm. It's pretty mysterious, yo. Oops. Let's try that again. I wonder if I can hop down this hole to get uh, downstairs more quickly. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, perfect. I think that that leaves us at a good stopping point for now. So I still have um, the robots and grimoires. So I might go after the robot next. So I'll think about that though between now and next time. Thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay of today's stream up on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.